guys, it's Amy here and today I bring you my June book haul. So since my last book haul I have managed to acquire quite a few books. I don't know how this has happened because I said to myself that I wasn't going to buy any more books so that clearly went out of the window. Down here I have just over 10 books that I've bought over the past month, uh, some that have been sent to me by publishers, I'll let you know which ones. So let's get into it. The first book I have to show you is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is No Future For You, the second volume of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 8 comic books. So if you saw one of my recent wrap ups you'll know that I read the first book in this comic series and I didn't think much of it, I didn't really get into it as well as I thought I would. And that's possibly just down to the fact that I haven't really read a lot of books in this format yet and I'm just not getting into it as quickly as I would a regular book. I'm hoping now that I know kind of where the story's going I'm really gonna enjoy this one because I really want that nostalgic feeling of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love it so much so I'm hoping to enjoy this one. Next I have a book that was sent to me by Curiosity Quills and it is Unhappenings by Edward Aubrey. This is a beautiful cover. I really really like it. Not only is the cover really beautiful the book just feels really nice and it's quite like heavy. It just feels like a good book. So as you may guess from the cover this book is about time travel. I haven't read many time travel books so I've only read uh, The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Neffenegger and I really enjoyed that book so I'm hoping as this is another time travel type thing I will enjoy this one too. Next is another book that Curiosity Quill sent me and it is Night's Colony by D.R. Burgess. So from what I've read on the back this book is centred around a pirate who gets murdered and it's kind of set around the time of the Salem witch trials and I think it's somewhat a murder mystery this uh, pirate is found and he's got all these markings on him and it's very strange and people are trying to find out what's happened basically. But as I hadn't read any pirate or witchy based novels I would give this one a go. So the next book I bought myself and I'm really looking forward to it, it is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I've read Eleanor and Park and Fangirl. I thought they were good. Um, I really enjoyed Eleanor and Park. I didn't enjoy Fangirl quite as much as Eleanor and Park. This though is I think an adult novel rather than YA. It follows the story of an IT guy who monitors the emails of two of the women in his office and ends up falling in love with one of them and I just like the sound of that. I also adore Rainbow Rowell's covers. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. This one has a really matte texture and I quite like that. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. If you've read it let me know. As with the others this is another book I'm really looking forward to and it is The Humans by Matt Haig. I read uh, Reasons to Say a Lie recently and I really enjoyed it. I actually have a review of it. If you want to see it I'll put it down below. So Reasons to Stay Alive is a non-fiction book and this is fiction so I'm really looking forward to seeing the difference in Matt Haig's writing style and seeing if I enjoy it quite as much as I did the other. From what I've gathered this book is about the human race and what it means to be human and the main character ends up kind of questioning all that it means to be human so I'll share my thoughts on this one once I've read it. Next I have a book that I'm currently reading and it is Running Girl by Simon Mason. This is a kind of detective novel kind of like Sherlock Holmes type thing but it's based around some young people. So I haven't read a great deal so far but a young girl is basically found dead in a pond and the protagonist of the story is her ex-boyfriend who is somewhat of a genius. He kind of is like Sherlock Holmes in a way that he likes to pick out details and things so he decides to ignore the police and just do his own investigation and find out why she died himself. I'm really enjoying it so far and I haven't actually finished any books this month. I'm reading uh, Game of Thrones and I'm reading this one and they're both quite large and I just haven't really finished anything so I'm a bit like Ugh, at the moment. So you'll be hearing about this one at the end of the month. Next I have a book that I bought myself as well and it is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I'm not too keen on this cover though. I've seen another cover that I think I would prefer but I couldn't get hold of that one. This is about a deadly virus that kills off a lot of North America and 20 years later in the kind of colonies that are left from that virus the people are performing Shakespeare and it's about what you would preserve if there wasn't much of civilization left and the thoughts on that I think. Obviously I haven't read it yet but I will share my thoughts with you once I have. Next another book that I treated myself to and it is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I have heard a lot about this one as well. I've seen it a lot in the bookshops and things like that. From what I've heard this is quite a sad novel so I think I'm gonna save it for a time where I feel like I could need a good cry. Does anyone else do that like save programs or things that you know are gonna make you cry for a time that you feel like you need a good cry? And then, yeah, I don't know. Does anyone else do that? I really like the cover of this one, although it's not something I would usually be drawn to. I don't know, it's just really pretty. I think I've been treating myself a little bit too much because most of these books I've bought myself. Oh well, I've got a job, I earn money, I can afford it. So the next book I have is The Palace of Curiosities by Rosie Garland, based around two people who end up joining the Palace of Curiosities, which I think is kind of like a circus type thing. I can't remember who I saw on booktube that mentioned this book and really made me want to read it, but I added it to my wish list quite a while ago, and so I thought I would treat myself to it. 
which I've been doing a lot this month, clearly. Plus, I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I've seen another of Rosie Garland's books where it has a um, little fox on the cover. I think it's called Vixen or something. And, ah, oh, I cannot... It's on my wish list as well because I just think it's gorgeous. I'm really excited for the next one because it's going to join my Tolkien collection. If you don't know, I really love Tolkien. And this is Smith & Wooden Major by J.R. Tolkien. For a while now, I've been collecting these little pocket editions that they have of these books because I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So here it is with my copies of The Hobbit and Robo Random. I think they are all such gorgeous books and I love the small editions of them. I just absolutely love seeing them sat on my shelf together. I think there are a couple more in this series. I know there are The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, which I plan on picking up as well. And I think maybe Farmer Giles of Ham. Oh, I just... I love them so much. Like, if you're a big Tolkien fan, then these just beautiful editions, just, they capture my heart. I love them. <laughs> okay, so we've got onto the most exciting thing of this entire book haul, and I have only one person to thank for this, and that is Jean from Bookish Thoughts. So this past week, I went up to London, and I met with Jean, and we had a little gallivant around London. It was just really nice. We were both invited to a dinner with the Penguin Classics team, along with some other people. I'm going to be talking about that in another video, because I have a whole tote bag full of books that I want to share with you. So keep an eye out for that. It's probably going to come later this week. Whilst we had some time to spare in London, me and Jean decided to go and look around some used bookshops. And Jean, with her eagle eyes, spotted this book set in one of the top shelves of this bookshop that we were in. She knows I absolutely adore this author, so I'm really happy that she managed to see them. And it is the Folio Society editions of Agatha Christie's collections of the Hercule Poirot series. They come in this gorgeous, hard little case that they can sit on my shelf in. Each of the books has a nice little design of Poirot on the cover. I mean, look at him there. Isn't that so awesome? Like, I'm so excited to have this on my shelf. And here's the final one. I think at some point I'm going to be doing a Folio Society book collection. Like, I don't have a lot, but I do have a few, and I think they're all gorgeous. So I'm really happy now that I have a large collection of the Poirot stories that I can dip in and out of. For ages, I've been looking for a large kind of box set of loads of the books so I don't have to keep buying them all individually or reading them on my iPad and things like that so this is just perfect I don't think it has all of the stories in it if you're interested in knowing what all the stories included in these books are then let me know down below and I'll tell you in a comment yes this will be joining my small folio society collection that I'm slowly building it's gorgeous I love it I love Jean I'm so happy <laughs> So those were all the books that I picked up in the last month. So let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are. As always, I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything down below. I'll also leave links to anything that I've mentioned in the video today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! Ball back for the dwarves. By the end of it, he is a completely different character. He makes a massive transformation and he is just so good. I love him so much. If you